over the past four weeks, Kayvon Thibodeau has crushed it. He's been one of the most explosive players on the defensive side of the ball, getting some sacks, some quarterback hits, pressures, blowing up run plays in the backfield, and just causing havoc for offensive coaches and offensive lines. Today, we're going to break down some of what he does in the pass rush, as well as how he defends the run. Let's jump right into it. Now, let's break down the actual pass rush. Let's break down the actual technique, because Kayvon Thibodeau is doing some of what we saw when he was back in college. If you guys watch this play, he's going to explode out of his stance. Really, really nice pass rush move. Initially, he makes contact with both hands, but it's the right hand that allows him to win, because his right hand grabs onto the shoulder pad of that tackle, the left shoulder pad. You guys can see that hand right there and then he's going to bring the left hand over the top as he tosses him with the right hand and the left hand is going to swipe down the tackle second punch with that left hand so that left hand of Thibodeau is going to swat down the left hand of the tackle that's just a really nice pass rush move when we watched Thibodeau I believe back in the preseason we were seeing a lot of these flashes a lot of these different moves the technique that he was showing in terms of his pass rush and it's really clicking over the past couple of weeks. Check out this next play right here. Technically, Thibodeau doesn't get credit for this sack. It actually goes to Audulari number 51. But Thibodeau is the one that, in my opinion, causes this sack. First and foremost, watch Thibodeau explode out of his stance. As the center snaps the football, Thibodeau gets out of his stance faster than pretty much every offensive lineman minus the center. That's such a nice job exploding out. And you're going to see that the left tackle here, Jordan Mulata, is going to end up holding him. Mulata's going to get out of his stance in a vertical set. And because Thibodeau's so fast and so explosive to the inside, Mulata ends up holding him. Thibodeau's going to rip. And that puts Mulata in a bad situation. And he is holding him the entire way. Obviously, the referees are both going to see it. And the flag is going to come out. Now, another thing to note on this play is because Thibodeau gets right into Hertz's face. Hertz is going to roll out to the left of your screen here, which allows number 51, Aziz Ajilari, to wrap the play up to bring the quarterback down. And technically, he's the one that's going to get credit for the sack because he's technically the first one to get there. But in my opinion, it's Kayvon Thibodeau that should have got the credit for the sack. Of course, there's the flag right there. This is just a really, really nice explosive inside move by Kayvon Thibodeau. And you know what's interesting is, in my opinion, Kayvon Thibodeau should have been the number one overall pick. He ended up going number five because there were some concerns as the draft was kind of approaching, but I totally think those type of things should be put to the side. Always look at the tape, and truth be told, when only the tape was out there prior to the combine and prior to all the stuff kind of coming out, Thibodeau was the consensus number one overall pick. It's because of his tape, and he's finally flashing and putting it all together. And he's arguably been the best rookie out of this class on the defensive side check this play out right here Thibodeau's going to do a great job beating the tight end shedding him to the side and being able to go directly at Dak Prescott and get a hit on Dak Prescott and the pass ends up being incomplete but this is a really nice clean hit on the quarterback these are the type of plays that quarterbacks remember these are the types of hits that impact the quarterback over the course of a game of course the pass does fall incomplete the defender here does a really nice job breaking the pass up from the wide receiver let's get into the next rep Check out this play right here and watch the processing by Thibodeau. First and foremost, he's going to do a great job to drop back in coverage. He's basically in a one-on-one -on -one situation with the tight end. He takes that away. And as the quarterback takes off running, Thibodeau lets that guy go. He understands the quarterback has passed the line of scrimmage. And basically, the quarterback's going to be in a one-on-one -on -one situation with Thibodeau. And in my opinion, this should be a touchdown. With the blocker in front of you, there's no way that he should be able to make this play. But he does. He's going to stop the quarterback short of the end zone. This is just a really, really nice play by the rookie. Absolute great job being able to cover, stick to a guy, process that the quarterback has passed the line of scrimmage, and then stop him from picking up the touchdown. That right there is a really nice play. Watch the defensive end in a one-on-one -on -one situation with Jordan Mulata, and Watch the hezzy move that allows him to win with the speed rush to the outside. Really nice job chopping, ripping, and getting pressure on the quarterback. This is a four yard loss. Technically, Anderson is the one that's going to get the credit for the sack, but it should go to Thibodeau. He is the one that's going to do a really nice job setting up an outside to an inside back to the outside move. And look at him a lot. He's all over the place. He doesn't know exactly where to go. And basically, Thibodeau is able to change directions three times. First to the outside, back to the inside, and then a third time back to the outside. And then when he gets back to the outside, look at the right hand chop, the left hand of Malata. And the left hand's going to come through and rip. That's a really, really, really nice move. That's a winning rep right there. This is what has allowed Thibodeau to have so much success over the past couple of weeks. 
It's plays like this. You got rookie on rookie on this play right here. Watch Thibodeau Hezzy to the inside on Tyler Smith. Right there. Come back to the outside, and he's going to do a double hand punch, and he misses. But he's still able to turn that miss into a second pass rush move, and that's going to be the rip with the left hand. And he's able to get to the quarterback and still hit the quarterback. That's a really nice shot. You know what's interesting about this play is a defender from the right side of your screen here is going to come free. And Thibodeau and that guy that literally does not get blocked are going to both meet at the quarterback. Like Thibodeau has to go through a guy and this guy goes free. But yeah, they both meet at the quarterback at the same time. That's very, very interesting if you ask me. Watch this play right here. Thibodeau's going to go directly at Tyler Smith who's going to try to anchor down. And they basically fall into Dak Prescott. This right here is a pressure on Prescott. Prescott ends up just throwing a 50-50 ball. And that ball ends up getting knocked up and intercepted. But the pressure right there forced Prescott to throw the ball maybe a little bit quicker than he wanted. And that's what a good pass rusher can do. Now, technically, Thibodeau has three sacks this season. And I've only shown you guys one sack so far. The sack I showed you guys was the most recent Washington Commanders game. The sack prior to this came a couple weeks back in the first Washington Commanders game. But in that sack, he kind of just went unblocked. So it's really just a, uh, it, it's not a true sack, right? He didn't have to beat anyone to get this sack. It was really just a cleanup sack or a free sack, I should say. So there wasn't a whole lot to show you guys. And of course, the sack before this came way earlier. And we're really just looking at the past three to four weeks. So I didn't really want to show you guys that sack. But I do want to switch focus here and break down some of his run defense. Talk about being an explosive player. A guy that can defend the read option, make sure the quarterback doesn't keep it. At the same time, chase this backside and blow the play up. This right here is why the guy is special, man. This right here is not something that every single defensive end can do. Some guys are too slow to pursue this from the backside. That's not true with Thibodeau. And some people say, is he a good run defender? And the answer is, is yes, he's a really good run defender. He knows exactly what to do in terms of reading his cues. He knows what he needs to do in order to win his reps. And that leads to him making multiple plays in the run game. On this play, the left tackle is going to pull to the right, which means Thibodeau knows this play is going to likely go to that side. So he's going to just follow this tackle. What he didn't realize is the guy that's going to get the ball is standing right in front of him. He does a really, really nice job being able to get out there and make the play. Chases it backside, and as the receiver gets the ball, he just tackles him right where he is. It's a really, really nice shot. Remember, sometimes when guys block away from you, when guys pull or down block, defensive ends slow down. They start looking around. Not Thibodeau. He just lets his natural abilities take over, and he's very, very, very good. Watch Thibodeau in a one-on-one -on -one situation with this tight end. You got to run to the left. Watch him get his hands on the tight end. Drive him back. Look at that. Bam. Takes him back three yards and blows the play up. That's such a nice job right there by Thibodeau. I know some people are going to say he didn't technically make the tackle, but he absolutely ruined this play. From the jump, this play was over because Thibodeau took his guy back four to five yards right into the running back and absolutely ruined this entire play. No tight end should allow a guy to take him and take him backwards. If you get stopped, great. Not a big deal. But you cannot get pushed back five yards into the backfield. This is just a really nice shot by Thibodeau. Look at how explosive he is out of his stance on this play. The ball is going to get snapped. He's one of the first guys to move on the defensive line. He gets uphill, right into the tight end, gets into his chest plates, and just drives him back, man. Beautiful job right there. Really explosive. Great technique. Love the handwork, the explosiveness. That's a nice shot. Let's get into the next rep. Check this play out. Thibodeau's going to slant hard to the inside, as is all these other defensive linemen here. 20 is going to jump and fill the C gap. 41 is going to take the outside gap. But if you guys watch Thibodeau, he's going to do a great job slanting to the inside. And he does a nice job to get off the block and help make the play on Miles Sanders. He's not the guy that actually makes the tackle, but he slows him down just enough. But this play picks up zero yards. This is a nice called by the defensive line coach to be able to have your defensors uh, slant to the inside of course he's able to get off the block of mulata that's a really nice job right there watch the explosiveness the power by Thibodeau once again he's going to do a great job taking number 82 and throwing him right into curtis samuel and on top of that he then sheds 82 and makes the play on the football this is a really nice job making contact with 82 getting right into his chest pushing him backwards like that right there is not normal. 
He takes 82 and moves him back about two yards, and he runs right into Samuel, who ends up being like four or five yards in the backfield after bumping into his tight end. And then Thibodeau sheds that tight end and is able to chase this from the backside and blow the play up. That is an explosive, powerful football player. I want to wrap the video up with this final play right here. This was a second and seven, and Thibodeau's going to absolutely kill the tight end. You know, one of the things with Thibodeau that I noticed is something that I noticed with Max Crosby earlier in his career, which was his pass rush technique, the hands that he uses. He applies it to the run game, and this is a good example of that. This is a zone to the left, and instead of making contact with the tight end, he's going to just jump to the inside, swat those hands down. And that right there allows him to win. Now, he doesn't technically make the play, but when you slow a guy down, it allows everybody else to kind of get in there and rally and make the play. So the fact that he's able to get into the backfield and stop Brian Robinson, forcing Robinson to have to wait, allows all the backside guys to get there and basically blow this play up for three yards. In my opinion, I think Kayvon Thibodeau is the best rookie defensive player out of this past draft and it's not close the guy's just disrupted i hope you guys enjoyed this video thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed and i'll see you guys next time with another video